Today I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM, particularly Lineage OS 14.1 on the Redmi 4 Prime. Now this particular custom ROM is based on the 8.2.4.0 bootloader, so you're going to need to have that version of MIUI or higher before you can do this. You're also going to need to have the bootloader unlocked. You're going to need to have TWRP installed. And if you're unsure of how to do that, where to find the download links or anything else included in this guide, be sure to check the full tutorial that's in the description below this video, as I'll have links to all of that. So we're going to need to first power off the Redmi 4 and we need to boot up into recovery mode while you're doing this you can go also go ahead and download the ROM and the gapps package to your PC and keep it on the PC because we're about to format data here Once we boot up into TWRP, go ahead and make sure that the data partition is mounted. Then we're going to tap on wipe, format data, type yes. And now we can connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable so we can copy over the custom ROM and the gapps package to the device. Now that we have these two files on our device, we're going to tap on the install button. As you can see, I needed to create a folder here, so I just created a test folder. Then we're going to tap on the custom ROM zip. Tap on the add more zips button. And then tap on the gapps package. And from here, we're just going to swipe the white arrows to the right to begin the installation process. This is going to install the custom ROM first and then it will install the gapps package and if you want after you do that you can go ahead and install something like SuperSU but I generally, generally recommend that you just go ahead and install the ROM and the gapps package first boot up into Android make sure everything's working properly and then you can go back and install root or Majisk or anything else you want Once that's done, we're just going to tap on the Reboot System button. Now we'll turn off our device and then start the boot process into Lineage OS or any other custom ROM that you chose for this project. At the time of writing this, there is just an unofficial version of Lineage OS available. And again, I'll have that download linked in the full tutorial. And this is the same process that will work for the Redmi 4X, as well as my Redmi 4 Prime, and even the regular Redmi 4. 
you just need to have the custom ROM that is made for your particular device. I downloaded the custom ROM for the Redmi 4 Prime. You may need to find the download for the Redmi 4X or the Redmi 4 or Redmi 4A, whatever the device may be. And this boot first boot cycle will take longer than normal, just like when any other time that you do a factory reset, since Android has to get a lot of things set up. And now the boot cycle is finished and we are at the Android activation screen. So that is how to install a custom ROM on the Redmi 4 Prime, Redmi 4X, Redmi 4A, or just the regular Redmi 4.